Hello and welcome to Stiff Joints. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Joyride Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief. So this is um, a figure that is actually uh, quite hard to find. You can see me in the reflection there. Um, if, uh, you know, I got really lucky. I got a bunch of them for £30. It's a bidding thing. Um, on eBay. Uh, I think it was, uh, what was it, last summer? Aye, it didn't matter. Um, but no, this is a very rare figure. I think it came out uh, 2003, uh, before Halo 2. They have done Halo 2 Master Chief, which I will be taking a look at in the very next video. Uh, but right now we're going to be taking a look at this one, this Halo Master Chief figure. So let's talk about the accessories first. So let's start with the smallest um, accessory. We have the Magnum Pistol. Uh, it's the first game's version. Uh, this is a, it's quite well detailed, it's got the sort of little red dot there, which, uh, you know, that's a very nice touch. So grey and silver, right there, um, he holds it very well. Um, it's also got this little bit here for when he holds it, I don't know if that's uh, entirely accurate, I thought it'd go all the way, but, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's still quite, quite good and it looks like it, if you hold it you know, right up there. You can clearly tell that's the Halo pistol. Next up is the assault rifle, which he can barely hold. Uh, I, I can't get him to hold it properly. It doesn't stay in. It's like a little peg there. I, don't think, I can't really find anywhere to put this. I'll have a look in a minute. But uh, this is, is, is kind of not as well detailed. There's some scratching probably because of you know, age, not mine. Um, it's, not also, it's also like the wrong colours. Uh, it should be the other way around, but they're both still kind of the wrong colour. I, I mean, it, whoa, it's uh, still the shape, obviously, it's the shape of it. It's a, you can identify it's like it's an iconic weapon. Um, got this sort of flashlight, which is silver. Uh, that's another weird detail. So there's a hole inside of that, that, that bit right there would be flat. I can guarantee it, any other company would have made that bit flat, but it goes in, it's a little indentation. Um, next up is the shotgun. Uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, what's going on there? What's it? It's broken. Oh, well, I've got another one uh, of the same kind. This is also uh, entirely the wrong colour, it's also got the flashlight at the bottom as well. Yeah, again, it's kind of weird. Uh, obviously, it's identifiable as the Halo shotgun, but it's not that special. And uh, this. This Master Chief can't hold the shotgun either. And last but not least we have the the rocket launcher which he can hold. This is this is awesome. You know, it's, it's very well detailed. The lettering is uh, is quite good. Um is it got lots of little details in there. And this this is good. I like that. And uh, it's got a little indentations there, little unnecessary detail, but it's still nice and it adds to this sort of overall quality of the, uh, the accessories. Now for the uh, figure, let's, let's start up at the top here. Um, it's kind of looking, kind of looking down just a little bit. Um, you know, it's, it's like uh, kind of looking like that, which is kind of, it's kind of odd. Uh, I didn't realize you'd be doing that. Uh, this is scratching. There's kind of glitter. Glittery stuff in here, uh, you can kind of tell there mainly, and on the head, it's it's kind of odd, kind of darker on the head here as well. It's a, not a flat green, it's kind of dark and lighter, and then there's sort of scratches and some little lights there, uh, and then it's a, a kind of grey kind of thing in there. I don't really understand that. This is a this bit's chrome. Oh, well, it's not chrome, uh, you know, it's very shiny, and you can see your reflection, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, like that. Um, he also has the, the sort of bag pouches thing um, there, which is another detail. It's also a sort of blue and black, kind of navy, navy is the colour uh, of most of the figure. It's also his uh, feet. <laughs> Uh, the, the, this is a lighter green here than the, the rest of it. Uh, uh, yeah, again, more scratches and uh, navy on the inside. And on the bottom, you have the 
Joyride logo there and some legal garb here. What's this? Uh, www.bungie.net 2003 Microsoft Corporation. So it was 2003 and everything. Um, articulation, the head can kind of move, it's just a swivel, not a ball joint. Um, so arms can go in and out. Jesus, this, oh my, it's a bit. Ooh, I'm kind of scared by this one. This is a. Oh my, okay, oh my god. Imagine if I broke this on camera. I would cry, that's true, I would cry. Uh, this is also just, you know, standard. Uh, Joint here and um, swivel yet again, uh, and this can also go full 360. As can this. Uh, it's obviously going to be the same. Two different hand sculpts kind of open. One here, kind of you know waving or say saluting or something. Barely, not very good saluting actually. Um, and this one, it's kind of either he's pointing or he wants to hold the weapon or he will finger you. Um, yeah, it's a swivel at the waist here, um, barely goes all the way around, and I don't really want to do that again. I don't know if it's making it loose or not, uh, I think it was already kind of loose anyway. Um, uh, these, uh, I don't think these can go in and out, uh, they're kind of loose I think, uh, but I do not think these are going to go out. This is also another swivel, and another here, and then this goes up as well, but uh, yeah, there's another joint here, uh, I think that, that can go basically all the way around. Paint there as well, you'd think they'd have paint there for the dots there, but they haven't put them there. Also, this bit's not game accurate, it's kind of metaphorment now, a bit of a cross kind of thing, but it's just kind of like that, I don't think that's entirely game accurate, unless... Let's see, uh, no it's not, because if you see there, if that's not the same as that there, so, yeah, obviously, that's, uh, oh, I could have had this in the background, I've completely missed out. As for holding weapons, the pistol is by far the easiest to get into his hand, um, here we are. Holding it quite well, it doesn't come out too easily, or is it going to do it? No, no, it's just, just a fluke. Um, and now, no for this, I don't know where the peg is meant to go because there is nowhere for that, nowhere for that to go. So let's see if we can get this in here. Uh, well, you see, that's the point. Uh, it it kind of balances. Uh, it doesn't really look right, does it? I mean, maybe you can get I mean, to hold it like that, and then you got you can have the video game cover going on there. But um, it's not perfect. It doesn't really stay, does it? Shotgun. Let's try not to snap the Christ out of this thing. Uh, barely holds this as well. Uh, can I just yeah like that? It doesn't really stay too. Uh, I think his hands are too big, uh, and they're kind of rubber, no, well, they're, no, no they're not, they look soft, but they're not, it's kind of plastic, it's kind of, what a disaster of a review this is, right, so, uh, you have to put the rocket launcher, <laughs> this is difficult, this one, kind of, this also balances, but he holds it better than the other two, it's also too heavy, and a is very loose, very loose. Uh, I think this is a sort of common problem uh, with these figures. But no, he holds this good. Uh, it looks quite good on display as well. Um, yeah, so this figure has kind of aged a little bit. I would like to see a remake figure because McFarlane did one. Uh, in 2011, uh, I've got that one somewhere, just a sec. So, you got the McFarlane one here. <laughs> Bloody totsy compared to this Goliath of a figure. Uh, you know, he's very short, 5 inches, which is a, you know, it's not the ideal size for a figure. But, you know, it's a very blocky in that sort of video game style. If it, well, you can kind of tell anyway, but... The, that's why I didn't really like this one. It's in the video game style, but I feel like that's 
not what they were wanting in a figure. And obviously there's the Halo anniversary, uh, which has a sort of kind of dip new look of Master Chief, which I like. And uh, they haven't done a, a figure for that one. So, um, let's get rid of this thing. Whoa! Um, so, this figure. It's, it's good, but... It, well, if you want a proper Master Chief, you should probably just get the McFarlane one. Far easier to find than this one. Um, this one is, uh, it, you know, it's very expensive. I have been extremely lucky with the amount of figures I've managed to get that are uh, Joyride related. They also did multiplayer variants. It's not as cool as it sounds. You just get a red one. I also got another pistol, but... No, um, it's a, it's good, but, you know, obviously it's aged a lot, and I feel like um, McFarlane really dropped the ball with um, their Master Chief figures, for the most part. So, there hasn't been a proper good Master Chief figure ev ever, really. You know, I haven't had a truly good one. But this is, it's still very interesting, and it is, you know, I like it a lot, it's very, it's, it's considerably game accurate, um, all things considered, um, and for the time it, it's pretty good, so, you know, if you see it and it's, it's like £20, buy it, but otherwise, just, to, just ignore it, really, it's not worth £80, that's why I haven't had one before, so, thanks for watching, this was the Halo Combat Evolved Joyride Master Chief figure review. Thanks for watching.